Flippy Ray is dead or no dead. Turns out, guys, he is very dead. And the reason we didn't know going in to episode 10 is because it happened off screen. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Entertainment. Here to talk about Mines MC, aka the king of everything off screen. And if you look at it, it's kind of incredible the amount of things this show did off screen. Off screen was like its go to thing. Anything important going down, anything interesting going down. Anything we felt like we needed to see, whether it be deaths, whether it be action scenes, or whether it be important conversations, a lot of it happened off screen. Why did they not give us the big moments? We do not know, but they've done the exact same thing with Felipe. So, let's go into story time. If you cannot remember episode 9, season 5, the penultimate episode, Sam Dino come looking for Angel. They know that Angel is staying in Felipe's house. Angel's not there though, he is a way out, he's going to get a burger, he is going to get food, he is helping himself to a big takeaway. And that means Felipe is left alone in the house having to look after Maverick, and when Sam Dino arrive, Felipe is outgunned. 5 to 1. So Sam Dino break into Felipe's house, we get a shootout, Felipe gets shot, he takes out one member. He manages to get himself into Maverick's room, he holds Maverick, he fends off anybody coming in through the door, and then it fades to black, really. And we go on to the next scene, so Felipe's fate at this point is left unknown. We don't know, did he survive? Did he not? What happened? Did he bleed out? Did he get up and just kill the remaining four members like Rambo? We don't know what happened, because it went to black. We then see Angel arriving. He's eating his burger, he gets out the car, sees all the flashing lights, sees the police, sees the ambulance, then we see a body bag getting wheeled out, and it turns out we don't see who's in the body bag. It's the body bag is sipped up, there is no face reveal, it's impossible to tell whether it is Reyes, whether it is Wood, whether it's another member of Sam Dino. We don't know. Angel doesn't know, and then the episode ends there. That was episode 9. We then lead into episode 10, and it is confirmed official. We go straight into the funeral, everybody is there, and they are there for Felipe Reyes, who is now dead. So that is what happened, guys. We ended episode 9 not knowing what happened to Felipe, and we start episode 10 at his funeral with him already dead. Now, I just think they got this way wrong. There's a lot of different things they could have done that would have made it better, that would have had more of an impact with the scene itself. But let's talk about what actually happened though. So we've got five Sam Dino members walking in to Felipe's house, all armed. Five members that are either middle-aged or, or younger. There was no one that was really that old. Isaac is probably the oldest person here. And they're essentially taking on a guy that is maybe, what, 70? 75 years old, a guy that is a lot older than name. It's five on one, and they can't get the job done. They were trying to kill him, and they couldn't do it. He ended up holding them off, shooting one of them. He kills Wood. I think he might have injured another. We don't know. Hoysier gets one shot in, and then Felipe manages to get into the bedroom and locks the door, and then holds off Sam Dino. The four members couldn't break in. It's not very realistic, is it, that four members of Sam Dino, four fit, younger, healthier men, couldn't take out an old grandpa who was having, like, <laughs> it was weird. He's got a gun in one hand, Maverick in the other hand, and then he's bleeding out at the side of his stomach. Yet, somehow, Sam Dino couldn't finish the job on this old dude. So, I mean, realistically, he, he should have died. Let's be honest, they didn't give Sam Dino any big kills. Sam Dino pretty much took out nobody. That whole episode, the, the whole point of the episode, the whole story in this episode, and the hypnosis was that Sam Dino were closing in on the Mayans. They closed in on Felipe, and then he closed one of them out with a big shotgun blast to the chest, and they didn't do anything. So five of them rocked up, and then four of them ran away, essentially, from Felipe. So that didn't, that didn't make... I didn't make good television, I wasn't realistic. Why is one old man kicking the ass of five younger men in a club? I didn't quite get that. But So then after that, he gets shot, he barricades himself into Maverick's room, and he is bleeding. So I think we are led to believe that that one shot killed him. I'm going to assume that he just bled out. He lost too much blood, he couldn't survive. When did he die? How quickly did he die from that point onwards? I don't know. 
Did he did he die in the bedroom? Did he get taken to the hospital? Was he in the body bag? Maybe he wasn't in the body bag. Maybe he died at a later date. If he did die though, wouldn't Felipe have told Angel that it was Sam Dino that attacked him? So I'm assuming that he did die and that by the time Angel got back to the house, it was Felipe that was in the body bag. So that is probably what they done. But why didn't they reveal the body bag? When they were wheeling the body bag out, a, they should have had it revealed because for two reasons, I mean, that would have proved to us that Felipe was dead. They would have showed us Felipe actually dead, getting wheeled out in the body bag, and then we would have seen Angel's reaction. We could have seen Angel's live reaction to finding his dad dead. Instead, we didn't get that. They took away important scenes because that would have been a pretty big deal. Angel finding... Um, Angel find this dad there for the first time. Like, could you imagine in Sons of Anarchy if Jax is going to his house and he doesn't see Tara's body, he doesn't see her lying there dead, and then we we go into season seven and he's just attending her funeral? Like, how shit would that have been? You know, <laughs> we don't get to see Jax like cradling her body. We don't get to see Jax's reaction to finding his wife dead lying on the floor in a pool of her own blood. That would not have been good. So I don't know why they didn't do that with Felipe. They could have had Angel find him or even just have Angel see him getting wheeled out of the house and Angel could have grabbed him. Angel could have cuddled him. You know, he could have held him close. We could have got something like that or maybe Angel finds him while uh, Reyes, Felipe is bleeding out could have done something like that and maybe maybe Felipe's dying wish could have been for Angel to leave the club and save his grandson. We could have had something like that. They could have done something similar but no, they decided to just kill Felipe off screen. We don't get a final goodbye. We don't get nothing. We don't get to see Angel's reaction to Felipe dying. We don't get to see Easy's reaction to Felipe dying. We don't even get to see Galindo's reaction to Felipe dying. And then the whole news about them being brothers, that big secret, never even comes out. It never gets unfolded. And it didn't even happen at the funeral either. So, I mean, that's another big mess. That was like one of the big selling points going into season five. They left the big cliffhanger last season, season four, that they're all brothers, that he is, Galindo is Felipe's son. Yet they didn't even reveal it in this season to Easy or Angel. It just makes no sense. I thought the whole thing was dumb as fuck. I still can't believe that Felipe survives this shootout at the beginning initially against Sam Dino. We don't get to see him die. We don't get to see him in the body bag. We don't get to see Angel's reaction to Felipe dying. We don't get to see anything. Most of the stuff, all the important stuff, the stuff that we needed to see all happened off screen so again just very very poor here i don't like how they did felipe's death pretty much just killed the guy off camera didn't get him his last scene the last time we seen felipe he was literally just holding maverick and pointing a gun at the door that's the last we see of felipe and it's a pretty big death we don't get to see angel's reaction to it hell we didn't even get to see angel's reaction to adelita's at least angel got to see easy die i guess but still it's just, it was a big death and it was a big waste of opportunity in my opinion. They could have done Felipe's death way better. Why not just show him, him dying so we all know? They had us guessing going into the episode 10, the finale, and then as soon as it begins, they're at his funeral. It's like, I don't get it. I thought it was pretty poor, guys. But anyway, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Did you like Felipe's death? Did you think they could have done it better? I think there was a lot of missed opportunities, especially not showing him die and not seeing Angel's reaction to him dying and not seeing his dead body. I, I think they could have done more. I think they could have did it better. But here, it's mine's MC, guys. There's a lot of things they don't do in this show. But anyway, that's it. Going to be lots more videos coming out over the next couple of days. So stay tuned to the channel. And when we get done with that, we're going to be doing ranking lists. We're going to rank all the characters from the show. It's going to be a super long video. But here, we're in it for the long run, guys. Ride or die. That's it. Catch you in the next one. Peace.